Hi guys! Alright, so today I'm here to talk about my favorite brushes. I'm going to talk about my favorite face brushes and my favorite eye brushes. So um, this includes everything that I use for application on my face. I actually used all of them pretty much all of them on my makeup today. So I can kind of go step by step and show you what they're used for, why I love them, what they're called, and um, I'll try to also list some dupes as well, some more affordable drugstore dupes, um, so that you can have an alternative if you don't want to pay um, a higher price for these brushes, because some of them are a little more expensive, um, but there definitely are alternatives that you can get for a cheaper price. So let's get started with the face brushes first. So my first face brush is the one I use for foundation, and this is the Sigma F85 Kabuki. I can't talk. Flat Kabuki brush. Um, everybody raves about this brush, and for good reason. Very densely packed. You can see that everything is just very, very soft. And it's small so that you can kind of reach just all the corners of your face. I feel like it buffs everything out really, really clean, really precise. Doesn't leave any streaky marks or anything like that. I picked it up maybe a few months ago, but I do have a good drugstore alternative for you, and that is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Um, the, there's the Buffing Brush and the Expert Face Brush. I feel like they both work about the same. They're not really that different, but um, I like the Buffing bruff, Brush a little bit better. Um, it works very, very good. It works as just as good as this one, but I just noticed that that one will sometimes leave some streaks across my face where you can kind of tell this one does a very clean application. So the second face brush I have is this one. This is the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40. It just looks like that. And it's just an angled brush. So it's very good for contouring and it's very good for blush. Um, you can use this for powder as well. It's really, really soft. The size, it works perfectly for my cheeks. So I apply blush with this every single day. Um, I start right here at the apples of my cheeks and I kind of just pat it upwards and I feel like it works perfect for that because the size is very good, soft, it picks up color perfectly and I really like it. I don't have anything bad to say about this brush but I definitely think that you can get a drugstore alternative for this brush. You could definitely pick up something like the e.l.f. blush brush which just looks like this. In comparison, they're about the same size. This one's a little bigger, but it is angled. This one is shaped more tapered, but it still gets into, you know, the area of your cheek, the apples of your cheeks that you need to apply blush. It's not really that different. This one just applies it easier. This one you might have to take a little more time to blend it out. But this is my second brush. Um, I don't use this for a blush because I have this one, but I do use it to set my under eye um, powder. This is perfect to get uh, just right underneath the eyes and I feel like it works perfectly. So my next brush is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter. It's the F35 brush. This is another brush that I thought was going to be a lot fluffier and it turned out to be a lot thinner than I thought, which is okay because it actually just works perfectly. Um, I use it to apply highlighter. So I use the Mary Luminizer today just on the uh, cheekbone and up a little bit onto my temples. And I put a little bit on my brow bone as well. So I just pick up the product and I kind of just tap it just like this in a C motion on my face and I feel like it works very well. So this is a good brush for highlighter although you don't necessarily need this one. What I used for highlighter was the blush brush as well from e.l.f. and I feel like this is a very multi-purpose brush and it's only three dollars so if you don't want to pay the twenty bucks or eighteen dollars that these Sigma brushes were you can definitely have the same use the same purpose for this brush um, for a lot cheaper. So my next face brush is the Tarte. This is, um, I'm pretty, the name's not on here, but it's called the Contortionist brush, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think that it's only sold in a set, but I got this off of Holt Look. 
Holtlook is a site where brands will release a certain limited amount of products for a discounted price. So a lot of products go on sale for 50% off, 60% off, 40% off, depending on the, I guess, the company. I'm not exactly sure all the little details. But Tarte, um, Tarte went on sale on Holtlook for a few days and I picked up this brush it was sold alone um, but I'm pretty sure you can only get it in a holiday set I'm not sure you might be able to find it on eBay but this is the contortionist brush brush and I use this for contouring I used it for contouring today with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I feel like it works very well I thought it would be a little too fluffy but it actually works it looks just like this it's a dual fiber brush it's very soft um, I just go in like this just to apply the first color and um, I pick up more color and just kind of build it and build it and build it and that's what it looks like and I feel like this does a very good job and I was trying to find a good brush for bronzer as well just to kind of warm up the skin tone up on my temples right here um, and this one works perfectly so I really like this I feel like it's a good investment a drugstore dupe for the uh, the Tarte brush would be the e.l.f. complexion brush. I have that brush as well, but I don't have it right now with me. Um, it's just a fluffier brush. It's a little bit tapered, and I used it for bronzer before, and I felt like it was very good. For $3, you know, you can't go wrong. It's a good brush. Okay, so my last face brush is the beauty blender um, I know that this is not a brush but it still works as a wonderful makeup applicator you just get it wet soak it under the water squeeze it out squeeze the water out a few times and then um, I just use like a napkin or something and like pat it dry and then I'll use it to apply my under eye concealer. I use the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and it works perfectly because it comes to a point, kind of like an egg, and you just bounce it um, and pounce it onto your face once it's wet because it does um, expand. So it works really well for this and I used it for foundation before I got my um, F80 brush and I would just use this side and I would just stipple it onto my face and it was perfect for that. I still use it to perfect my foundation sometimes when I feel like it looks a little too cakey in one area or it looks too built up. I'll kind of sheer it out with this because it does apply a very sheer layer. This is not going to give you full coverage. This is only going to give you a very light to medium depending on how much you want to layer on because it does a very good job um, of just applying and giving you that airbrushed look. Okay, I forgot about one face brush. This is the Small Contour F05 from Sigma, and I really like this. Um, I used this before I got my Tarte Contortionist brush, but I still do use it to apply um, a darker layer because I'll start with the with the soft layer I use fawn first kind of as like a transitional shade on your contour just so you don't apply a heavy color a dark color right away that might not blend as easily I like to apply a transitional color first that way I can layer on a darker color and a darker color and a darker color to make it look a little bit more natural so I use this to apply darker color after the original transitional shade is applied with this brush and I'll just go in with this one so I feel like it works very well um, it is a little small to kind of apply right here it takes a little bit more time than say this one but I mean you know if I'm not sitting here complaining it you know it would be it would be fine it it works perfectly fine I do like it for my jawline um, for the sides and uh, bringing contour or bronzer shades down onto my neck um, it works really well for that so this is a good brush okay on to my eye brushes um, let's start with the blending brushes so this is the tapered blending E35 looks like that and a lot of people say that they like using the E40 to put in their transitional shade. And I like the brush. Um, it's actually right here. I'm about to mention it. But I don't like it as much as this one. This is what it looks like. 
This is the E40. This is the E35. You can tell that the E40 is a bit, little bit longer. It's more tapered. This one is a little bit more fluffy, just a little bit more flimsy because it is longer. It doesn't really apply as well as I would like it to. It's still really good and I'll use it for a um, just an all over blend with a clean brush and I feel like it works really well for that. But as far as applying transitional colors, I really like this one. The next one is the Morphe MB23. It looks like this and it is very similar to the Sigma uh, E35. It's also very similar to the E40. I love blending brushes. I have so many of them. I feel like it's very essential when you're doing your eye makeup to have a lot of clean blending brushes because that way you can go in, place the color, use another one to blend the color, use a clean one to blend it again, apply more, blend it again, and then seal the look by blending it again with a clean if you want to add a lighter color to kind of diffuse the dark color in your crease you might want to do that there's just so many different ways you can use blending brushes when you're applying your eye makeup um, so I feel like it's very essential and it's very helpful the next one is another blending brush this one is the oh so raved about Mac 217 brush um, I feel like it is very very similar to the E25 by Sigma. This one's actually the Hakuhodo one. Um, this is the J5523 one. This is also very similar. I told you I have a lot of blending brushes. Um, but the Sigma one is this one, the E25. You can see that they all are pretty much identical. Um, they're not clean right now because I just used it. I didn't have time to wash all of them because then they would be wet and I wouldn't be able to show you what they look like when they're dry. But they're just very... They're very, very essential. I love these brushes. They're my babies. Um, they're, they're very fluffy. They're soft. And I feel like they're very good with applying color if you want to turn it onto its side and just apply it like this and then turn it in and then just blend. Um, it's very fluffy. It's good for blending. Um, it just it works wonderfully. I feel like you always need a bunch of clean ones in order to do a very good blending job on your eyes. So these are definitely worth the investment. If you get any brushes um, that I recommend, I would definitely recommend one of these. Um, the E25 one is, I think, 16 or 17 from Sigma's website. Um, the MAC one's a little bit more expensive. It's up in like the $30 mark, I believe. And the Hakuhodo one is maybe 17 or 18. So just depending on your price range um, or however much you want to spend. But look into getting one of these brushes for eye makeup. I definitely, definitely recommend it. Okay, my next one is the E70 Medium Angled Shading. I was originally going to get this for putting color into my crease, but um, it was a little big for that. So I, end up, I ended up using it for my brow bone highlight, and I use it every single day for my brow bone highlight. I put a cream color or um, like a white off-white color, and I just put it right underneath my brow bone and it's perfect. It is the perfect shape for that and it's the perfect application. I don't know if anybody else uses it for this purpose, but um, it was too big for my smaller eyes and smaller eyelids. So I decided to use it one day and I've been using it ever since. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for the perfect brush to apply um, just that brow bone highlight um, or to kind of cl clean up underneath your brows. Definitely recommend this one. It's very good. Okay, so, sorry, the little one woke up. So I'm just going to finish up the rest of my eye brushes. I don't have many left. But this is the Sigma E45 brush. It is very, very good for applying color in your crease and blending it out, especially if you have small lids. So I have a smaller eye, and I have kind of that Asian eye set. Um, it's a little bit difficult to work because my crease and my lid area is very, very small. 
but this gets right in the crease and it's very very good for blending the color out as well as applying the color and maybe you want to go in with a blending brush afterwards I really recommend this brush for that it's really good this is another one that I got recently. This is the Sigma Exact Blend E32. And this is very good for blending color right in a very precise area. So say that you want to pack on a dark color right in your outer V and you, you think that your E40 is too big to apply the color. Um, the E25 is too fluffy. It's not going to get a precise amount. You can definitely go in with, oh, where'd it go? You can definitely go in with the E32. Um, it's just small enough. This is what it looks like. It is just small enough. It's very tiny, but it's just fluffy enough to where you can use it as a blending brush, and it won't diffuse the color all out into your lid and um, all the way up into your crease, up to your brow bone, and then the color just disappears. This just applies it very, very well in that area that you want it to. Are you burping? You're burping. Okay, so these last three ones are brow brushes. Um, let's start with the one that I used to apply the first color. So I used this one. I honestly don't even know where this is from, but it's from the drugstore. I know that. It's probably actually an e.l.f. brush because it looks like an e.l.f. brush, but there's no name on it. Um, I've been using it for years. But I really do think that it is from e.l.f. and it's probably their angled liner brush. I used it with the e.l.f. brow kit. I used the darkest color and I just apply one line here and one line at the top with this and I just kind of blend it out. And then I go in with my Anastasia um, number 12 brush and the Anastasia dip brow in ebony and that's what I'll use for the kind of tail of my brows and this is what I'll use to apply and then kind of shade in everything and then kind of perfect it so this is a very good brush it's actually created just for the dip brow um the pomade because it's a very creamy consistency it's not a powder it's not a gel um, it's a pomade consistency so you kind of need to dip into it and dip into the jar and then dab a little bit onto a napkin and then apply it onto your brows because they would be too much if you just applied it straight from the product onto your brows um, and on the other side there's a spoolie so you can kind of go in and blend out whatever you need afterwards and it does a very good job of that these spoolies from Anastasia I don't know what they're made of but they're good stuff um, the last brow brush that I have I don't know where this one is from either um, I picked it up years ago and I've been using it ever since it just looks like this it's a flat concealer brush or a flat shader brush but I use it for concealer. I use it with the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, it's just a few shades lighter than my skin tone. And I use it to clean up the brow area right here. So I just apply it right underneath my brows and I just blend it out, tap, 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 and it's done. Um, I feel like putting concealer, a light, you know, little layer underneath your brow bone really cleans it up and gives it a sharper effect if that's what you're going for. And this brush does a very good job of it. But I definitely think that you can get something like this um, for a good cheap price. Just look for flat concealer brushes. This is a very small brush. It works perfectly. And the last brush I have is just a eyelash comb and brush comb. This is super old, um, but I use it to kind of comb out my lashes before and after I curl them. So my lashes are very short. Um, I have to curl them, apply mascara, curl them again, sometimes curl them again after that because they don't stay. They are very, they're all, they are very small, very short, but this kind of, um, kind of combs out any any clumps or anything that any lashes that might have bunched together when I was applying mascara um, and it just sets them apart I just kind of wiggle it up and it just gives them a separated effect as you can see 
Okay, so that wraps up my favorite makeup brushes for both my face and my eyes. Um, I hope this helped some of you. I know that there weren't too many affordable dupes, but honestly, Sigma, it's not a very expensive brand. I know a lot of people don't like it because so many people talk about it, and some people think that there are affiliate links and they're being sponsored. I have no affiliate links. I'm not being sponsored. Um, Sigma doesn't even know who I am. I'm just here because I enjoy a lot of their brushes and I think that it's it's really good for the price um, I don't love every single one that I've gotten but I like a lot of them and I use them on a daily basis a lot of people say that they shed they really have not shed on me um, maybe it's because I haven't really had them for a long time but like the medium angled shading um, and my e55 I've had these for about two and a half years and they're still in very good shape. I wash them all the time. I wash them um, after like, every few uses and they've been help they've been holding up really well for me. So I would definitely say if you're thinking about it, just give it a try. They're not that expensive. Pick up one of the blending brushes or one of the um, the face brushes and just give it a go. But if not, I recommend e.l.f. Their studio line is only $3. Real Techniques is sold at Ulta and Target, CVS, Walgreens. They're also a very affordable brand with very luxury products. So... Yeah, I guess those are my recommendations. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe and like if you enjoy the video. Bye!